Hello students, welcome to Sorcerer's Classes. In this video, I will be solving some of the geology questions from JAM 2017. Now let's start with the first question. Here we have which of the following minerals exhibit luminescence when exposed to ultraviolet light. Now this luminescence or fluorescence is a characteristic that some of the minerals contains and they are called fluorescent minerals. Now these fluorescent minerals, they contain some particles in their structures known as activators. So they contain activators which help the minerals to glow within a visible spectrum when exposed to ultraviolet lights. So they help in the minerals to glow within visible spectre spectrum so these fluorescent minerals they glow within visible spectrum when they are exposed to ultraviolet light now in the following examples the correct answer is option number D that is skelite because skelites they fluorescence under short wave UV light short wave UV light and these minerals they glow a bright sky blue color they glow in bright sky blue color Also, occasionally it glows red when they are under mid-wave UV. So, they glows red when they are under mid-wave UV light. So, the correct answer of question number 1 is option number D, that is K light. Next, we are going to question number 2. Let me change the color first. Now, here is which of the following mass extension periods trilobites become extinct now now trilobites they are extinct trilobites are extinct marine arachnomorph anthropods and these marine animals they become extinct by the mass extension at the end of Permian period. So the correct answer of this question is option number B. In late Devonian period, so in late Devonian period, all trilobite orders except prioritize proitides So, except, except proitides, all trilobites order, they died out. But these trilobites, they disappeared in mass extinction at the end of Permian age, which was about 252 million years ago. 252 million years ago. So, the mass extinction of trilobites occur in Permian era, that is, trilobites become extinct at Permian era. Now, let's go to the third question. It is, an echelon sigmoidal gash veins indicate. Now, there are four options, ductile shear zone, brittle shear zone, saddle reef structure, and brittle ductile shear zone. The correct answer of this question is option number B. These anaclon veins, they are formed in two stages. Two stages. In the first stage, there is a formation of, in the first stage, there is a formation of brittle tension gaseous. Brittle tension 
gases which are formed which are oriented approximately 45 degrees from the fault trend so they are basically oriented at 45 degrees from fault trend this is the first stage and in next stage these sigmoidal shapes are formed due to rotation during ductile deformation so in the next stage the sigmoidal sigmoidal shapes are formed due to so in the second stage these sigmoidal structures are formed due to rotation during ductile deformation so these echelon veins are formed in two stages in the first stage brittle tension gases are formed which are oriented in 45 degrees from the fault trend and in the second stage the sigmoidal shapes are formed due to rotation during ductile deformation so the correct answer of this question is option number b and this is the pictorial representation of the formation of anechylone veins as we can see in the first stage these gases are formed and in the second stage this sigmoidal shapes are formed